Hi, Lena here today. I wanted to share with you the most recent project I did uh, with my friends Joe and Julie. We call the group, the three of us, We Heart Mail Art, and we work on themes and try to do mail art on the envelope and something to go inside the envelope that goes on the theme as well. Um, the most recent one we've been doing is we've been getting into a little bit of collaborative work and um, trying different techniques and I went a little overboard and I didn't make a postcard at all. I made a journal, I made a book, which I'll share with you in a minute, um, and learned a new stitch for myself called the Japanese Stab Binding. Um, but it started with, we saw, or I think Julie, Jules, saw some um, magazine resist transfers, which to me is really like an image transfer. Um, it, you, do, you are working from magazine pages or old book pages, not, they seem to work the best, and it's on the jelly plate. So this was something that we tried, and these are some of my samples that I did when I was learning how to do it. The thing I learned the most is that you want to use as little paint as possible, which is the opposite of how I usually work on the gel plate. I usually got paint everywhere. So it was fun, though. I was glad that I could finally do it. And we decided then to make something. We would send each other our prints, and then make something. A postcard would have been just fine, but for some reason I really wanted to use the large prints. I didn't want to cut them up that the girls sent me, so I, this is the one I made for myself. This, to, as a test, you know, try it out before I give it to them. And because I'd never done the stitch, I just decided I wanted to keep the pages full. So in my book, I have the original prints. This is one that I did on a magazine page. And you can see, that's actually, a, how do you say, that's not actually a, a transfer. This is actually like the reject part, but it was too pretty to throw away, so I kept it. And you can see in my book, because there's the magazine that page it's actually on, is right there. I put some blank pages in between. Here's one that Joe did. She lives in the UK, she sent that. We all struggled a little bit with getting it to work. This one's got some regular gel print printing and the magazine resist technique or image transfer, however you want to call it. Here's the originals of Joe's and it goes on like that Julie. And we've got another one by Julie back here, which I love. She did it on a phone book, I think can't quite tell. The old paper seemed to work well. So I got these together and I learned how to do the Coptic, um, not the Coptic, that's for another book. I learned how to do the Japanese staff binding. I had never done that before. So and I'll put a link to the uh, video that I used to learn how to do that. These are, this is one I made for Joe. By the time I produce and publish this, she will have already received it. I wrote her a little note explaining why I went so extravagant and not, didn't just do a postcard. This is, I just didn't want to cut these prints up. And these are all color copies. So she's got the same, everyone has the same, Joe, Julie, and I. Just that mine is the original and I made color copies for them so we could all have the same. I figured they could use the other side to journal in, write in, or add different um, things to this if they want to, or they could just keep it like it is. So that, I was really happy because I was struggling to figure out, because I didn't want to cut the pages. I liked the images that the girls sent me, so this is what I ended up doing. These are just regular gel print things I, you know, fooling around with, and these are the ones that are the magazine resist or the image transfers. It's a pretty cool technique. Just take some patience. If you're impatient, don't try it. Uh, <laughs> but it's good. I like it. And I love the binding. It was perfect. Just took me a lot of searching to figure out what I was going to do. What we usually do are things like this. Um, this was from the first 
exchange I did with them as a group. This is Julie's language of flowers, and that was in April of 2013. This is a different um, envelope from Joe, and I think it went with the bleeding tissue. I kind of separated the envelopes and the cards out at one point to store them easier for myself. This was from a weather report theme that Joe did. So we usually would do postcards. And here's one of Julie's. I think this was for the night sky exchange. We had a lot of different themes. Um, language of flowers, blue book style, postage people, renaissance, um, folded envelopes, substrate, using different substrates, song lyrics, on and on and on. It was really fun. I wonder if that's going to come out the right way. It might be backwards. <laughs> You're holding it up for nothing. Anyway, um, this is just a, a fun group that I feel blessed to be part of. And we do about four or six exchanges a year. And often the art is like this. That's um, Julie's weather report. Here's an envelope from Joe. Beautiful stuff that gets comes in my mailbox from Julie. And inside, I think inside was one of her zines that she we did a mail art zine, a mini one. And then inside, she also gave me some copies of ATCs that she made into little postcards. The zines we did. Um, Julie loves the retro stuff. What is she cutting up there? What a ham. I love it. And this is a great little booklet. Uh, Joe's is here. Uh, Us ladies of a certain age. And this is a cute, cool little book that comes from one piece of paper. You see, it's great. I love it. And there's just a few more from our exchanges over the years. This is Found Poetry from Joe. And actually, that's from Julie. What am I talking about? There's Fo Found Poetry from Julie. And this one is from Joe in a beautiful envelope. So we really enjoy doing this um, and get a chance to make crazy and beautiful envelopes and these are a couple of the collages I did through a class and then that was one of the things that inspired us to do the reconstructed collage that was one of our themes so I hope you enjoyed um, I'll give a link for this st stitching how I learned that and I'll give a link for the video that I got the most help from for the uh, magazine resist slash image transfer. Thanks for watching.